There was a woman who cooked the roast for her husband, and he always enjoyed the roast that she would cook, but he asked her, why is it that you always cut the ends off of the roast when you when you cook the roast? And she said, well, I, I do that because my, my mother always did that. Going to cook a roast, you cut the ends off the roast. And so next time they were with the in-laws, he asked the mother-in-law, well, why, when you cook the roast, why do you cut the ends off when you cook the roast? And, and the mother-in-law, you know, she says, well, uh, you know, my mother always did that. So finally he gets to the grandmother and he says, listen, my wife, she cooks a roast, she cuts off the ends. Your daughter, my mother-in-law, she cooks a roast, she cuts off the end. And they both say they do it because that's what you always did. And the grandmother looks at him and says, well, my pans were always too small. But the fact is, many of the traditions we follow, we have no idea why and we can't explain them. And in church, we have traditions around Christianity. So you grow up in the church, and and what do you do? Um, Well, you believe in Jesus, you get baptized, and then you stop drinking, smoking, cursing, and don't have sex outside of marriage, and saved. And so someone asks you, are you a Christian? Yes. Why are you a Christian? Well, because I followed the tradition. I did the things that you're supposed to do in order to become a Christian. 